necessary For you I'm so down that it scares me Tell them back, back, don't come near you, girl And when I go down, I'ma fill you up Your body's saying take control Your eyes are staring deep inside my soul Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you. And if you've been rocking with me for a minute, what's up? What's good? And welcome back. So today I'm here with a unit from Outre. Wow, it's been like Outre City over here. I've been reviewing a lot of Outre wigs. I did an update of the old Nisha's, reviewed the new Nisha's. I did a review on Outre Shanice, Outre Rowena. Damn, Outre! <laughs> I've been really feeling all these past two weeks. All right, so here we have a unit by Outre and her name is Ivory. I have Ivory in the 1B color. This is a lace frontal wig. It has... This is a fully hand-tied 13 by 6 frontal wig. So you get parting space area that goes 13 inches across and six inches back. It does come with baby hairs. It has an adjustable band. It has two combs over here to the side, a comb in the back with adjustable straps. It has soft Swiss lace. And of course it is heat safe up to 375, 400 degrees. Now the main feature of this wig ivory is the perfect hairline. This is from the perfect hairline series. Y'all, y'all see this, y'all see this. <laughs> Y'all see this hairline? I'm gonna tell you right now, Altry Perfect Hairline releases that came out in the beginning, the hairlines were not looking like this. So let, let's just get into it. Let me give you a quick 360 of the unit. So let's get into the pros of this unit. First pro absolutely is this new and improved hairline. You know, I first noticed it when my girl Kyra Sean reviewed the, I believe it's Sade unit from the Perfect Hairline series. It's a newer one. And I saw that and I was like, yo, Altra is doing something very different. This is a pre-plucked hairline. I, like, look at it, you guys, look. Now, if you do see any crusty areas, forgive me, but I was trying. I didn't relay the sides here. I actually ended up cutting off that ear tab because it was getting annoying. Same over here. This would not lay. I'm about to cut that too. But look at that. This is serving scalp. Oh, I'm floored right now. This is looking like human hair and this is synthetic. What? What? Oh. <laughs> Yo, where's the lace be? Mm, I can't see it either. So, this hairline is bomb. I know last year Sensational held the title for best hairline with their What Lace series, but this is definitely a contender. I I like it a lot, wow. So kudos to Outre for this awesome hairline. Now you might have noticed when I put the wig on earlier in the video, I used this powder at first, but it was looking a little ashy, so then I went in with my CoverGirl foundation, which I don't use as a foundation. I strictly only use it for my lace and that kind of helped it even out a bit when this was looking a little ashy. A lot of my experience with laces is trial and error. I'm just doing what works for me and this honey is working. Okay. Another pro to this unit is the cap size. I would say that it's big head friendly. I do have a medium sized head and it fit me just right, but it still felt like there was some room for an inch or two. This 13 by six frontal is great. I mean, the parting space goes all the way back here. So you definitely have lots of room to play with if you are the type of person who likes to style your wigs. Now let's get into the cons, y'all. The style. The style the way it came, 
as you can see here, the curls were just not it. It wasn't working for me. I'm not a fan of pre-braided styles whatsoever. I think on synthetic wigs, a lot of them look really just just not cute. I've seen a few that look good. Actually, Mika reviewed this unit by May Beauty and that looked really nice. But outside of hers, a lot of them I just don't rock with. This one was no different. So I had to take those braids out, use my Revlon One Step Blow Dryer to blow out the crinkles. And then once I saw the actual style, I was like, ugh, okay. Mm. Can I see that girl reviewed this wig in a nice blonde color and she wasn't feeling the curls either and I see what she's talking about in person. So I just continued to blow it out. And I like it like this, just sleek, straight. This is a look. This, this looks like it's coming out of my head, y'all. As far as the elastic band, I mean, I'm using it right now, but I can't tell you that it's making much of a difference. To me, it's just like, hmm. It's just all right. I feel like when it comes to Outre, the elastic band on the daily wigs are the best. Those work. These other ones are just so-so. They're just okay. Also, you see how flat this is laying at the top? I did purchase a new blow dryer by Revlon. This cute pink mini dryer. I really just wanted a new one because my yellow one I normally use, one, it's bigger, so it's kind of clunky for what I use it for, which is just flattening down the top. Also, I really wanted this type of attachment so that way the hair can funnel through here and directly target a certain area. I saw this on Amazon and I was like, I want this, this is so cute. And it worked out perfectly for what I wanted. Like, it's definitely laying flat, flat. How much was this? Uh, $20. How much was this? But if you're interested, the link to this will be in the description box. I just think it's so cute. And if you like pink, why not? As far as the texture, at first I thought it was a con because it felt silky to me out the pack. But now that I have blown her out, I don't know why she feels like more light yakky to me. I don't know what happened there, but I, I'm kind of feeling her. You know, I don't gravitate towards silky textures, but... Oh, there goes the sun. Whoa, where'd you go, sun? I don't gravitate towards silky textures, but this isn't feeling as silky as it did out the past. It's actually probably reminded me of Bobby Boss Ayla. I don't have that wig, but I remember Brittany, aka the Hearts and Cake 90, when she reviewed it, she described the texture to be kind of silky, and this is what that's reminding me of. Would I recommend this wig? Oh, it's hard to say. I feel like this hairline is so popping though. Like, what is going on with the sun? Would I recommend this wig? Uh, it's hard to say. I mean, the way this lace is blending and this hairline, I mean, I think it looks really, really good. So for that alone, it's getting a lot of points from me, but I don't see myself buying this because it did take some work to blow out the crinkles. I mean, not that much work, but you could just get another 13 by four frontal. I don't think this is a must have per se, but I do think the way I straightened her out and everything makes her look very, very nice. And I'm so happy that Outre fixed their perfect hairline because it was looking a little boxy before, but now this is looking like money. <laughs> yes, I'm feeling it. So please let me know how you feel about Ivory in the comments down below. How do you feel about what I did to her? How do you feel about the lace? Oh, the sun is killing me. How do you feel about the lace? How do you feel about the hairline? It's definitely giving me, it's definitely giving me perfect hairline vibes. Like, y'all see that? Yes, this is, oh, this is a vibe for real. This looks really good. Oh, for those who, who like to tuck hair behind their ear, you can do that. Just be mindful of that little, yeah, you can do that. Okay. <laughs> so please drop comments down below and let me know how you feel because you know I love when y'all talk to me. Also, if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to tap the notification bell because I have lots of goodies coming up this week. We are on the road to 10K, getting closer and closer. So to all my new subscribers, thank you so much for joining the family. It really means a lot to me. And for all of you that have been rocked with me, thank you so, so much. Also, if you wanna see some more tips and tricks on how I make my wigs look really natural, I have an entire playlist dedicated to it, the Wig 101 series. So it'll be linked in the description box. Definitely check it out. And I have other playlists too. I have playlists for like blonde hair, pink hair, for bangs, textured wigs. I hope you see something that helps you out. Also, if you want to see some of my latest videos, check them out over here to the right of me. Thank you all so much for tuning in today for Miss Ivory. 
Ah, I can't get over this hairline. Ah. <laughs> and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Yeah, do what I did necessary For you I'm so down that it scares me Tell them back, back, don't come near you, girl And when I go down